Okay, everyone. Um, so we're going to be installing Notepad++. Um, I find it's a very useful and free version for a large amount of programming needs. Um, uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to go to notepad++.org, um, download. Um, it's quite easy. Just uh, type type in Notepad++ plus plus, download, and it'll show up. It'll be the first one there. Um, sometimes it takes a while to load, so oh, on the virtual machine for me. So we want to download the Notepad installer. As it says, this one is the one. If you have no idea which one you should take, um, and honestly, it's probably the right one for us. Now, we're going to go here. And what first thing that what, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do super super user and enter your password. Sure, hope I entered. Yep, wrong one. Um. Facebook, there we go. Got the super user. But firstly, we've downloaded the file, um, and I'm going to want you to create a file called Notepad. And in your downloads, it's desktop. Um, in your downloads, you should have a Notepad plus plus file. Um, the NPP.6.8 installer. In and move that into the notepad folder. I've already done that, as you can probably tell. And now we're going to begin the install. Um, firstly, take a look at what we've got. Um, we've got the desktop downloads, uh, a Java. Oof, I'm going to try to get that one working at some day. Um, and notepad. So change the directory into the notepad. Remember, it's case sensitive. And then just list it, just so you know everything's working. It now we want to run the wine np oh, npp dot six dot eight dot installer dot exe. Now we run wine as it's a Windows interface, I believe. Um, and we can tell that we've got wine by going to in applications down to system tools and we've got wine down at the bottom here. If you don't have that, I'll show you what to do in a second. Um, then you hit enter and it's creating it. Now, this is what should happen. Now we'll run it through and then I'll show you what went wrong. I will create a shortcut on desktop. And might as well run it. So we've got Notepad++ here as a super user. So that's not as good as you'd like, um, as we don't have it here. So we've got some issues. But firstly, if you don't have Wine, you just need to run the command um, app get install Wine from the super user and it's because I've already got it, it's telling me that I've got it um, and now for those of you who are actually using a 64-bit machine you might get an error while trying to run the um, wine notepad plus plus installer now, so yeah we're not gonna bother going through this but you might get an error that might not come up and Something will come up, um, such as uh, Wine Multi Arc Instructions, and it, it'll tell you the commands to enter before um, you can install it. And commands are D to package um, double slash um, add slash architecture. I386 and hit enter, nothing happens. Um, app get update 
<coughs> now hopefully, because I've just installed Notepad, we're not going to have any new downloads. Um, just let it run through. And, and you, while we're going through this, why we want to know why it didn't show up over here. And we'll solve that issue in a second. But now that you've done the update, we're going to install wine or flash bin. And I386, I believe. Yep. Oh, I've got 396. I knew something looked wrong. Um, and we've already got it because well, my system already has. So run those last three commands from dpackage. It, you, you'll actually notice it, it'll pop up in the middle of your um, terminal telling you what needs to happen. And the commands will be dpackage, add here, um, app get update, and install wine bin i386. Now, okay, we, I've already showed you that we can actually install it, but what I haven't shown you is how it's not up here. So we're going to exit the super user. So it's the reason why I didn't like doing it this way was because it does does take a while. But now we're in um, Chris's, oh, not Chris's Herbie's user Herbie by itself. Um, so we're going to change directory to Notepad, and we'll, we'll let's what commands we've got there. Notepad plus plus installer. So now what we're going to do is we are actually going to run the wine Notepad plus plus dot six dot eight dot installer dot exe. And it'll configure it. So it says that we can do this now. Um, and just follow the instructions through. Again, create a shortcut on desktop always makes it easier. It'll run through um, and finish. And there it is. Um, and we've also got it right here. So there we go. We've got two nice little folders. Um, Don't worry about that one, um, it's not an issue. Just kill that, um, so control C. Now, I'm gonna do one last little thing. I'm just gonna run an apt get update. Yeah, this is good. Because when we're installing, oh, when we're using the wine installer, it allowed us to do that without sudo commands, but I don't like it. I like having to give pseudo commands. Um, make sure that no one else can really do much with my system in regards to. Uh, well, oh, sorry. I get update. Yeah, so now we've got the password, so Facebook for me. And it'll run through. But we don't want people to be able to install software on our systems and get the updates. Um, I was reading on an article. Um, about how to mess with oh, how to hijack software updates and install a rootkit for backdoor access. Now we don't want people gaining access to our system, um, but using a system called Evil Grade, which I will go into later because I want to give it a shot. I've never had the privilege of working with it, and it allows us to hijack upgrading. Oh, systems updates and put our little kits in our little root kit in there so we can gain access to this system um but yeah that'll be later and honestly I don't know how much later I've got a lot of videos lying around that need to go up so I'll put a note uh, on it when the video goes up and probably try to do something a little bit more entertaining 
but mm. so yeah mm. for now basically notepad plus plus just for you guys um, we'll take a look at what we can create now there's different file types um, just leave that there um, we can save it as all types I think um, all stuff but take a look at all these commands script files, batch commands, C source, um, C, C++, C sharp, D programming language, um, I'm going to do some research on that, uh, HTML, a major one, the main reason why I actually know anything about Notepad, uh, <coughs> PHP, TCL, uh, there's a lot of languages, XML is another interesting one, but there's lots of languages for you to pay attention to. Um, there's Perl. <coughs> so this, uh, I don't know if I'll ever have time or if I'm lucky I'll be able to find some people to help me out and make their videos and put them up on my s on the site with me. Um, <coughs> and we'll try to go deeper into some of these extra languages because they'll, they'll provide you with an immense amount of knowledge and <clears throat> to understand everything with a computer you kind of need to understand how to program. It's very important and it'll help you in the future anyway with everything being so technical now um, pretty much all the jobs you'll require at least at some experience with programming. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to talk about it now but I will be doing a bit of a Android Studio tutorial at some point as you can see down here there's the muscle Android studio I'm currently doing a unit on that um, we'll probably wait till after or something before we go into detail on that as it is a pretty complex system using I believe XML Java and <laughs> thankfully the people at Android have dumbed it down so it's just basically a drag and drop system and then Java programming so XML's really not as important in it as you'd like, but oh, as someone who was learning it would like. But we've got lots of stuff there for you, and we'll take a look at some of this stuff later. Um, see you guys. Just shut this down.